Hey everyone, Dr. Michael Bruce, the sleep doctor here. It turns out there are two systems in the brain that create what we call sleep. One is called your sleep drive, the other is called your sleep rhythm. Today, we're gonna to be talking about your rhythm. So what is your rhythm or your circadian rhythm? Circadian rhythms are actually biological patterns that shift across each 24 hour cycle. Most of the noticeable circadian rhythm is the sleep-wake cycle, which determines a person's level of sleepiness or wakefulness throughout the day and night. Remember, not everyone's circadian rhythm is the same. For people who are night owls, a normal daily rhythm involves staying up at night and sleeping late in the morning. Other people fall asleep soon after dark and are up with the sun. These people are known more as early birds or larks. Variations in circadian rhythms are referred to as chronotypes. Research suggests that chronotypes are likely based on factors like age, genetics, as well as daily light exposure. If you'd like to learn more about your chronotype, head on over to my website and take my quiz at chronoquiz.com. Now, an important question you might want to know is, how does circadian rhythm affect my sleep? A person's sleep patterns are heavily influenced by their sleep-wake cycle. One of the most influential factors turns out to be light. Our exposure to light dictates how awake or sleepy you feel at any given time. If your sleep-wake cycle is not in alignment with natural light and darkness cues, you may notice a range of changes to your sleep health and consequently your physical health. Remember, insufficient sleep can cause mood changes, trouble focusing, even accidents. Now, what can disrupt your circadian rhythm? It's a great question. Circadian rhythms can be disrupted by changes in our environment, our daily schedules, even our body. One example, daylight savings time. About a quarter of people in the world experience time shifts related to daylight savings time. Although these shifts only move the clock by one hour, research shows there is a short-term increase in fatal car accidents, workplace injuries, even heart attacks, which may be due to circadian disruption. Number two, jet lag. Jet lag occurs when a traveler's circadian rhythm becomes out of sync with their destination time zone. Remember, jet lag tends to be more severe for those who've crossed several time zones. It can make travelers feel sleepy during the day and awake at night. A third example, shift workers. Shift workers are people who work night shifts or very early morning shifts. They often experience circadian rhythm disruptions because they're required to be alert when it's dark outside and to sleep during the daylight hours. Now, are there different circadian rhythm disorders? It turns out that there are. There are a number of sleep disorders that are caused by differences in an individual circadian rhythm. Two of the most common are the following. The first is called delayed sleep-wake phase disorder. Common in 13, 14, 15-year-old adolescents, people with delayed sleep-wake phase syndrome prefer being night owls. Although it's normal for many people to stay up late on occasion without consequences, delayed sleep-wake phase disorder often interferes with work, school, or even family responsibilities. Now, the opposite is the other one called advanced sleep-wake phase disorder. People with advanced sleep-wake disorder fall asleep unusually early, then wake up very early in the morning. This sleep disorder occurs mostly in older people. Well, another big question is, can you reset your circadian rhythm? First, it's important to note that you shouldn't try to do this by yourself, but rather talk with a sleep specialist. There are multiple potential treatments for these types of disorders. But what would you use? Number one, melatonin. Short-term use of melatonin at 0.5 milligrams based on your doctor's schedule has been shown to be effective in helping you reset your circadian rhythm. Number two, control your light exposure. Be intentional about your light exposure so that you can get plenty of bright light at the beginning of your day and limit exposure to light as you approach bedtime. Number three, stick to a regular sleep-wake schedule. Maintaining a consistent sleep-wake schedule can keep your circadian clock on track. It's also best to go to bed and wake up at roughly the same time every day, including the weekends. And number four, exercise. Exercise can help you sleep better and align your circadian rhythm when it's out of sync. It's best to exercise earlier in the day and to avoid vigorous activity in the last few hours before bed. This is Dr. Michael Bruce, the sleep doctor, wishing you sweet dreams.